coming at you with a tutorial on these new Wilson Combat flip-up sights that I got. And I'm going to sight this rifle in. My, my arc here is with me. And uh, for YouTube uh, reasons, I've got a low-capacity magazine. This is uh, 20, round, 20 rounds. And I'm sighting it in with green tips. So the process here, the principle is I'm going to shoot a group of five rounds and then adjust my sights and shoot another group of five rounds and keep on going until I've got the rifle where I want it to be at this distance. But I think 25 inches is a pretty good distance uh, for this. It's a 20 inch barrel, so it's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows, especially when you gotta use this stuff, man. So I'm really glad actually for the weather right now. Um, it's better to train in bad weather and then you're used to the bad, so hopefully you perform better in the good. It's actually so wet that my target just got ripped off the line there, so. As always, you want to practice good gun safety, follow the gun safety rules, and most importantly, have fun, have a good time. If you're a prepper, I learned a big lesson today about getting out here and using this stuff and not just thinking because I bought something, that box is checked. That box was not checked. That gun will get me killed, that AR-15 that I built. But not anymore. Thankfully, it's fixed. Thanks to the power of uh, friendship, Loctite, and Allen keys. I want to thank Have a good day, guys. All right. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 13. And it reads, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, Ye shall live. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. You carnal Israelites will die. You know, so I actually, uh, you know, was listening to uh, the apostles. You know, uh, they did a live lesson. And, uh, you know, I actually, you know, tuned in kind of late. But as I strolled up. I saw this dude here too, and he, he goes by the name of Army of Yahweh Shai, you know, and uh, you know, a few of the brothers and already did lessons on it. And uh, anytime you guys out there, you know, you new guys, you know, that come on the comment boards and you got Army of, you know, or, you know, just something, you know, you know, crazy, right? If we got a bad, a bad vibe about you, we're gonna go to your channel, we're gonna look you up. You see that? And we're going to find out who the hell you are. So I went to this dude's channel here too, right? And, you know, Army of Yahweh Shai, 12 subscribers, 13 videos, you know, and this dude here, you know, pretty much is going off. You know, this video here, War in Palestine, you know, if you watch the video, you know, he's actually, uh, you know, uh, 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 telling you... <coughs> You know about you know how we shouldn't use weapons, but in this video right here, the one that I showed, AR uh, AR fifteen troubleshooting, right? He's out there being carnal shooting guns. You see, so this is this is a new guy. He don't really know what's going on. You know, <clears throat> you know, like two months ago, you know, he went out there and was teaching and stuff like that, and you know, he hasn't been back been back out on the street since. You see, so a lot of you guys that are carnal, right, you new guys, you know, and you heard in the end of the video, he said, you know, uh, uh, for all you guys that's prepping, this is a prepper here. You see that? He just knows the name of the Lord, and it's, it's, it's a trip, because I just did a lesson yesterday, and then, too, when you look at these videos, right, let me see here. Brother Rukakadash, in the name of his only begotten son, Hashem Hamashiach Yahushai. The world calls Jesus. Okay, so you look at this video here, right? You see how he got the beard 
and everything. You know, yeah, man. Right. See how he got the beard in this video. But then, right, let me see here. But then when you go, you know, to his channel and look at his videos, like this one right here. I want to make this video quick. You can tell that he shaved his beard off. You see that? And started growing it again. You know, so all you two-third wicked-ass wicked ass Israelites out there, you guys that know that you Hebrew Israelites, right, you think you're going to defeat Esau, Edom, right, with his birth, you know, with his birthright, all right, you going off and you are going to die. You see that? Let me see. Let's, let's, let's look at this one here. We begin by giving look at this video. Honor, now glory, look and praises to the Most High God Yahweh. Look at this video here. You know, you can tell he ain't got no damn beard. So you know, this dude here, he's not sincere, man. All right, this was something that I picked up on. You know. You gathered a, a very carnal, you're gonna die, man. You see that? You are Tell him, you how about shimmy on a thumb? I'm coming at you with a tutorial. You know, Jake is bugged the hell out, man. And this is why we don't deal with you guys, you know, you a lot of you newer guys, because you know, we can see right through you guys, man. He called and worshiped on the names of your how about shimmy I was shy. Look at that. Now, what if you find yourself during the time of Jacob trouble, right, and you want to be carnal, right, and your gun jam just like this right here? His gun jam. So he got a piece of shit. You see that? So for you wicked ass, carnal ass Israelites out there, you're going to die. You think that your gun is going to save you, you're going to die. Because what if Esau comes in like a flood? Right, and because he's gonna come in like a flood, because he know he have but a short time, right? And you start shooting at Edom, trying to be carnal, and this happens to you, right? What do you think Esau's gonna do? You see, so you know, again, you know, just want to do this lesson here, you know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of your howl by Shimei was shy. You wicked ass Israelites out there, you guys don't get it. This is the book of Saint Matthew, chapter twenty six, verse uh, fifty two, and it says. Then said Yahawashai to him, put up again thy sword into its place, all right? Because one of the one of the, the disciples smote off the centurion's ear, right? Being carnal. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. You see that? So all you carnal ass guys out there, all right, you should know this. Right? Whatever happens to just having faith. You see, but a lot of you guys, you guys don't have no faith. You got faith in your guns, right? You mere mortals out there, man. You see, let's keep going here, man. You know, this ain't got to be a deep, long lesson, right? Romans chapter 8, verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You see that? So you want to be carnal, right? Army of Yahweh shot, you want to be carnal? All right, you're going to die, man. You see that? You are going to die. And that go for any of you bug outs. You see that? That believe in picking up your sword is going to deliver you. See, Jake will grab one scripture, right? Maybe two of them talking about weapons, but totally skip the other weapons. You see that? I'm uh, slacking, uh, but totally uh, uh, skip over the other scriptures, man. Slock it, slip of the tongue. Let's go ahead and read another one here. St. Matthew chapter uh, 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. You see that now? Now do sheep, right, have weapons? Do they have sharp teeth? Do they have claws? No. You see that? Wolves have sharp teeth and weapons, man. You see? Be ye therefore as wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. And what the hell does this mean? You see that? Now, I don't know if this guy here is even an Israelite. You know? Shave, you know, yeah, man. Right? Jake don't really know what's going on. He just, you know, a, a nigga that know the names. Of the, and, and I did, just did a lesson yesterday, right, telling the brothers that, you know, just because you know the names of the Lord doesn't mean anything, man. You still got people that know the names of the Lord, but they still carnal and bug the hell out. 
2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of straw. Do you see that, man? So our weapons are not carnal. Now, let's go ahead and grab that in the blue letter, man. Right? Let's grab the word carnal. Just a quick lesson, man. All right? It's not going to be long. Scratch the word carnal. What the hell does that mean? Strong's G, 4559, Sardikikas. Sardikikas. And it says, uh, let me see, definition I, it says, governed by mere human nature, not by the spirit of the most high. You see that? So a lot of you guys, you're not guided through the spirit of the most high, man. You see that? Because you're spiritually discerned. You see, so again, your guns, right, uh, are, are not going to deliver you, man, in the days to come. You see that? Yeah, I think the gas is fine. Looks like. I bet you would never expect me to shoot one of these on video, but here we go. Yeah. No scriptures, no anything. You see that? These cheap ass guns that he got. All right. All right. And again, all you bug outs that disagree, it is what it is. Right. We're going to see how your gun's going to deliver you. Right. Uh, 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 in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You see that? Because a lot of you guys out there, this is for you. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 14. But the natural man, you see that carnal. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high. For they are foolishness unto him, neither, right, can can he know them, because why? Because they are spiritually discerned. You see that? So, you you know, you guys out there, right, is putting all your trust, right, and all your hopes, right, and your whack-ass, raggedy-ass guns out there, right, you're going to be destroyed, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, brothers and sisters, until the next time I say, Shalom, have trust in the Lord, man, not no damn guns. Shalom. As always, you want to practice good gun safety? Follow the gun safety rules and most importantly, have fun. Have a good time. If you're a prepper, I learned a big lesson today about getting out here and using this stuff and not just thinking because I bought something, that box is checked. That box was not checked. That gun will get me killed.